or say hey guys it's Klaus welcome back to another video I want to talk to you guys today uh, about a, a theory I'm working on well it's not really a theory um, it, it's a well let, let me give you the steps you know, things start off with like you have a feeling uh, through your experiences you feel something and then you start to observe a pattern and, and if it's you're interested in it, you start documenting uh, your observations uh, based on the original feeling you had and you come up with data that you can analyze and, and sometimes you formulate a theory based on th those steps that you've gone. That's what scientists do. A and then you, you, you conduct experiments and uh, you investigate and you eventually you prove or disprove the theory and you come up with the miraculous uh, inventions and, and you know, like, like the the guy that had the feeling uh, after he had the sour milk, he, you know, he felt bad in his stomach and went through all those steps and invented penicillin uh, that I just described. Or the, you know, the guy that sat under the tree and had that kind of weird feeling like something strange is going to happen. The, the apple fell on his head and then he went through all those steps over numbers of years and, and there we understand uh, uh, gravity. Look at this. I'm going to explain this to you now. This is, this is my theory. It started off with this feeling. Now, I just took that shot. Did you see that where that shot landed? Let me just uh, show you what's, what's happening here. I'm playing artillery there. Now look at this. This is my uh, circle, or oblong or ellipse or whatever you want to call it. That's where the shell could possibly land. And that's where I was aiming. And the shell landed there. See that? Oh, well, it didn't land exactly where I was aiming, but it landed inside this, this uh, aiming circle right there, a little off from where I aimed. That's called RNG close you would be saying and you're right you're right now this is what I want to talk to you about today yes that's RNG it, it the game decided that that shell should land there I didn't decide that I I just aimed here the game made the shell land where it did RNG but what is RNG is it a random number generator and this is this is the feeling I've been getting it's I don't believe it's random I think it's a Russian number generator I'm going to now watch this. Okay, let's take another shot. Where is the shell going to land? Let's see where it'll land. Oh, it landed right there and it killed that guy. The vehicle destroyed. Let's look at the oblong there. Okay, there's where I was aiming. You see? And the shell, the shell landed there. Not exactly where I was aiming. And it killed that uh, French artillery. It landed right there inside the circle. And it killed them. RNG. The, me, the, the feeling I'm having, and I think I, I've, I've, I've felt it, I've experienced it, and now I've observed it quite often, game after game after game, and I'm starting to document it and, uh, and start getting uh, data and analysis. After hundreds of games I've played now in my sheriff's account, I play artillery in my sheriff's account, and I've noticed this. And I'm at the documentation stage, and I'm going to share it with you, because I have found that when I shoot... Uh, or aim at any vehicles from any other, any nations other than Russian uh, tanks, then my RNG behaves in a certain way. But when I aim at, look, I could be shooting this guy and I was in the open, but I'm trying to test. I want to stun this object that is behind the house. So I'm, this is my circle. Look at it. And it's uh, on the building there. You see right on the edge like this. So the shell could land anywhere on the building or on the other side of the building over here and I'm hopefully going to stun this object that that's what I want to do so let's see where the shell goes now let's see no did you see where it landed oh well, close that's just RNG well, look closely look closely at the uh, it should land in here right inside this uh, this dotted outline it landed there hmm this is my observation this is, uh, I've had the feeling, I've had the experience, I'm observing it and documenting it now. And this is just me. I, I, it hasn't been proven. It's not even a theory yet. It's at the theory stage. But I believe that RNG in this game is not random. And when I aim at Russian targets in my artillery, then I, I just get the feeling and I observe and I have the experience that my shell, the dispersion, is greater that I uh, more often than not miss now look at this okay I'm gonna pause it here my shell should land I know it's what 80% open here and about 20% of it is blocked by that building and I'm trying to shoot at an object in this same game where I've hit lots of other tanks easily with shots like this 
and I even move it a little bit more, where's the shell going to land now? I mean, there's an object. There's 10 or 20% chance it's going to land there, and 80, 70, 80% chance it's going to land here and stun him. Now he, he does drive away, but there, it lands on the building. Uh, and I know, I know what you're saying. You know, you're saying Klaus, this is just uh, one or two examples. This is, uh, you know, that, that, that doesn't prove anything. But I, I, just the amount of times it's happened over and over and over again in the same game. Now watch this. Uh, there's, a, there's an American tank behind this building. I'm going to take the same shot I took just a, f a minute ago. In the same game, the exact same shot, I haven't moved. Look, now, see, this is where my shell should land. Somewhere in there, and if it lands on the building, it's going to stun that tank that's sitting here. Let's see where my shell goes now, because I'm not shooting at an object now. I'm shooting at an American tank, so let's uh, let the shell fly uh, right about in here. As soon as I'm loaded, let's be patient. We're trying to learn something here. I had a shot on him, but I'm just doing this to, to see. Okay, now I take the shot. Where's it going to go? On the building, in the circle, and there's the stunned uh, American tank. Now, you remember when I just did the same shot? At the object, the, the shell should land somewhere in here, and the object was in the same spot, and like sh the shell landed here for the American guy, I stunned him, but when I shot the object, it landed here. Now, I know, I know, you, you, some of you are saying, Klaus, your tinfoil hat is on a little bit too tight. I understand that, but remember, I'm not, I'm not s saying that the, I know this or that it's true. This is a feeling I've had while playing, I've experienced it, and now I'm observing it and starting to document it. Like, look at this shot, I'm shooting an STB-1, where does it go? Pretty much exactly where I aimed, and it hit him. And I've seen this game after game after game after game, that I, when I shoot any other nation, the RNG behaves rationally. It's like a rational number generator. But when I aim at a, a Russian tank, it's a Russian number generator. and I make shots that are ridiculous sometimes uh, versus other one in a 500, one in a thousand possible uh, outcome shot, and then I shoot a Russian tank perfectly aimed and I miss. Like, oh, I'm playing this game here, and uh, let me try. And who should I shoot here? Okay, I'm going to try and shoot this I-7. Look where I aimed and look where the shot went. Did you see that? It was close. It wasn't close. It, it, it went to the edge of the circle. Let, let, let's go back and watch that again. Let's go back and watch that again. Watch this. Uh, uh, and and it's, it's little subtle differences, you know. I just... Uh, just just watch. But, but if after, time after time after time after time... Now look where I've aimed here. Okay, look where my dot is. That's where I want to aim. And I'm uh, rushing the shot, but... There I shoot. My aim is... And see where it landed? It's there. It's kind of right on the edge of where the circle was. It could have landed anywhere, but it landed as far as possible within the circle to do the, the least amount of damage to the Russian tank, is what, what I'm feeling, right? Oh, close. That's just RNG. That's just the way it works. But it, it happens all the time that whenever I aim at a Russian tank, it never... Well, it, sometimes it does. But my feeling, my observations, what I'm documenting is that it's... It seems to have more dispersion on it than when I shoot uh, someone else of another nation. Like, I whip off shots that are ridiculous versus other nations' tanks. Like, uh, now I'm going to take another shot here, and you, let me try and shoot the STB-1. You know, because, okay, I'm trying to help my friend here, and I'm in a rush, and, you know, maybe just uh, just to go for a, a long shot here. Yeah, pull the trigger. Enemy armor is destroyed. Yeah, it's ridiculous, and I'm seeing this all the time. And uh, th th this is my point: is like when you have a, a shot that's a long shot. Just remember, all I do is pull the trigger, and there's a, an oval on the map, and then the game decides where the shell's going to go. It's not my skill; it's nobody's skill. Anyone who tells you it's skill uh, is an idiot, right? It's the I, I pull the trigger, then the shell is going to land somewhere in the oval that's on the the map, and in some cases. The enemy is moving, so there's a trajectory. He's a, it has a certain velocity in a certain uh, direction, and then you have an oval, and then you pull the trigger. And what's the chances that uh, his trajectory is going to match up with where your shell lands? Blah 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 blah. You know, it's uh, uh, RNG. What what exactly is the R when you have like a big oval on the map like this, right? And there's a, a tank that's moving in a certain uh, trajectory, and then you just like whip off a shot like this, and oh, we got him. The game decided where my shell was going to go, and 
where it was going to land, and it happened to land on that German leopard. And, and you're probably shaking your head now, going, this whole di discussion is ridiculous, Klaus. Like, how could there be uh, more dispersion when you're aiming at a Russian tank than when you're aiming at a, another nation tank? Like, how the hell are they, could they even do... Well, you know what? Uh, there's another game that Wargaming uh, publishes called World of Warships, and they have the, this exact mechanic in the game. And it's in the form of certain camouflage patterns that you can put on your ships in that game. Uh, you can buy a certain camouflage patterns that you put on your ship. It's a consumable that you purchase that make you a little less detectable and cause the enemy shots to disperse when they're aiming at you. Like here, I'm going to aim at a French tank again. And, uh, I don't know where the shell is going to hit, right? I just have to pull the trigger and hopefully it's going to go close to where I aim and, and the, the rest is RNG. So he's running around like a lunatic and I'm just going to pull the trigger here and the shell is going to land somewhere in this big oval, right? Where is it going to land? Right there and stun him because that's a French tank. See, this is my oval, this, this huge thing here. And uh, this is where I was aiming and the shell landed right there. That's RNG. That makes sense. Doesn't that make sense? Like, this shot makes sense, right? Look at the oval there. I'll just take a shot. And that was close. It was. That was close. That's how RNG is supposed to work. But my, my question to you is, what exactly does the R stand for? Is it really random? Like, is this random? Look at the size of the oval there. You could fit 20 tanks in that oval. So where's my shot going to hit? Well, it's just going to kill that guy, right? Of course, because that's a German tank. Is that a random number generator? Or is that a rigged number, a ridiculous number generator? Where's this shot going to go? It's going to go exactly and hit that guy, isn't it? Because that's a Udez. It, 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 it. Shots are just going to go exactly where you aim. There's a tank right here. I'm going to aim at this guy. Uh, but little did I know, that there's an object right there. Oh, an object. This could be a problem. So let me shoot. Where's the shot going to hit? That was close. Was it really close? Was it really? Did, was that really close? Like, look closely at where it landed. Look at my oval there. Where did it land? It landed right there. Was it close? Is that really close? Or uh, is that the definition of close? That was close? I don't think that was close. Uh, th let's, the very next shot in the same game, uh, where could it land? Well, it has a 50% chance of hitting that rock. 50% uh, chance of hitting the back here, a 50% chance of, you know, hitting this rock and not doing any... But where's it going to go? This isn't an object I'm aiming at. Uh, this is a projecto. So where's it going to go? It's going to go right there. And this is my question to you now. Uh, is there more dispersion on the shots that are shot at Russian tanks? Here, I'm going to shoot a T-57 Heavy. He's disappeared. Where's my shot going to go? Is it going to hit the uh, rock there? No, it's going to go exactly where I aimed. In World of Warships, you can buy a consumable that causes dispersion of the enemy shots when they're shooting at you. I think it causes their salvos to disperse by 4, 5, or 6%. So if you buy this consumable and you have it on your ship, the, the people shooting you, are going, more often than not, they're going, Oh, my shot missed! Damn! And they're upset. Their shot missed. Where's this shot going to go? That's a T-57 heavy. Is going to hit that rock? Or is it gonna, let's just watch that. And so in World of Warships, if you have this consumable and the enemy shoot you, they're more likely their shots will disperse that extra five, whatever it is, percent. And, um, and they're more likely to miss than if they're shooting at someone that does not have this. Now, here I'm, there's an object here. Where would this shot land so that it has the least amount of chance of doing damage? Where do you think the shot could land? Uh, he's backing up to the right, so the shot, would, which way would it deviate so it doesn't damage him? Well, to the left, obviously. That was, close. that was close. Was it really close? Was it? Was it close? Uh, I'll let you look at it and decide for yourself. It's a subtle thing. And like I'm saying, uh, I, I, I don't know for sure. It's just what I'm experiencing, what I'm feeling, my observations. And I'm showing you some examples that, uh, that I've uh, uh, accumulated now. And remember, I haven't taken a lot of shots with artillery. Maybe, what, uh, 500? 600 shots in total and the shots are like this. Was that close? That was close? Was it? I mean the game tells me it was close, but was it? It landed back here. Th was it really close? Let's look at the, what my aiming oval was like. Was that close? Where would that have hit if I was aiming at an American tag? I, I don't know. I don't know the answer. But I know that the mechanic exists in World of Warships that 
your shots will disperse more if uh, a ship has this particular camo pattern. So in this game, do the Russian tanks just have that uh, attribute that shots, when you shoot, they disperse? Like, where's this shot going to go? Was that close? Was it really that close to where I was aiming? Where would that shot, where could it land so that it would have the least amount of uh, chance of hitting those objects? And you're thinking, oh, you're, you're just making this up now. You're paranoid. You're delusional. Delusional. But it's in the game when you take three or four or five shots in a row and uh, four out of the five hit where you're aiming. And then you aim at an object and it misses by a country mile. Like, this is the same game. I'm not cutting this clip. Let's, let's watch what's going to happen here. And uh, so this is an object 277 I'm going to aim at. Does he have some sort of a special attribute that if you're shooting at him, your shots are more likely to disperse by, I don't know, 10% extra dispersion on your shot? Look, look at my oval there. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. It's hard to do this when uh, on the replay. There. Look at the oval. Okay. That's where the shot should land. The red here means the trajectory of where I'm aiming is going through his tank. Where's the shell going to land? Let me shoot there. He even backed up a bit. Yeah, that was close. What, what was it really close? It was it. Is that was close? Is that the definition of close to you? D do you, it's a pattern that I'm noticing. Uh, am I nuts? Or I want you guys to leave it in the comments. Have you experienced something similar? Do you? Is there more dispersion on your shots when you're aiming at a Russian vehicle? Klaus, you're nuts. You're delusional. You're delusional. Well, here's a. This is not a Russian vehicle here. This guy right here. That's a British vehicle. Let's check this out. Now you see, I'm changing. You say, you know, maybe I should aim like that. It's the same oval. I know how to aim when I'm in overhead mode, and it shows you what the, there's the oval. The trajectory is going through the tank. It's red. This is the same shot as I just took on the object 277. Same shot. Where's the shell going to land? See? Look at there. There's the oval, right? My trajectory is red. It's, it's going through the... Is it going to land back there? Let's shoot. Where's it going to land? Critical hit. That was close. Is there extra dispersion on shots aimed at Russian vehicles? Uh, like, I can shoot this shot on an American TD. And, and it, uh, it, even though it could have hit uh, the, the rock there, it was close. I agree. That was close. And in the very same game, the very next shot, I could uh, readjust and aim at a Russian vehicle. Now... There he is. He has no armor. He's an open top. This is a... Anywhere near him is going to kill him with this tier 10 artillery. I'm going to carefully try and, and hit here. Uh, okay, let's readjust. Was it close? Was, was that close? It was hard to see. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better. There's my... That's at the point when I pulled the trigger. Look at my oval there. Pretty close. It could have hit that house. A little bit of adjusting at the end there. Watch, watch. Right about there, I think I pulled the trigger. I, uh, was it close? I, You know, it's hard to, on a one-by-one one comparison, but it's just a pattern, and it happens over and over. I know what close means. You know, this is close. There's a, a French tank. There's the big oval. Where's my shell going to land? Where's it going to land? Uh, it's going to land right there. That was close. Yeah, he's knocked out. That that That's what I... There's a dead tank here. I notice it moving. So there must be an enemy there. What nationality is that enemy tank? Let, let, let's see. Uh, where's the... It's a bat chat. He's dead. That was close. And you guys right? are thinking, Klaus, you're wearing your tinfoil hat. Klaus is spreading a conspiracy theory rumor. It's not a conspiracy theory rumor. It's something I've observed. Look at this guy here. He's hiding behind the dead tank. And I'm going to try and take a shot on him. Okay, It's just a pattern that I feel... I'm noticing in the game. Look, look at my my oval there. Uh, my trajectory is going through the dead tank. Okay, uh, where is this shot going to hit? Let's make the mini map smaller. There's no dots on that rock there. My shell should land somewhere in here, right? It should land somewhere in here. I'm trying to get a cheeky shot on this object. Where's my shell going to land? You guys, uh, where, where's it going to land? Let's take the shot. Like I'm adjusting. I want to make sure the line's green. Yeah, that's. Should that hit him? Look at the trajectory. The oval was right there. My aim trajectory is red. It's going through him. Where'd the shot go? It disappeared. What? How could that? Let's look at that again. What, what do you mean? This is an object I'm trying to shoot. 
There's my oval. Look at the map. Where will that shot hit? It, I don't see any dots here. There's nothing. It's that dead tank that's in the way there. Where is my shot gone? Where is it? It's, uh, well, it's the fuck you shot. Uh, it did, and you're thinking, that's an impossible shot. You would had no chance of hitting that. Well, how did that dead tank get there in the first place? Right at the exact same spot I was aiming. Uh, well, I'll show you. I'll show you how he got there. Because uh, just before uh, I took that shot that evaporated at the object, I was aiming at the same spot here, wondering who I should shoot. Uh, pretty much uh, doing... Uh, oh, and a huge showed up. <laughs> what happens when I pull the trigger? Uh, basically the same shot there. What happens? <laughs> Got him. That's what happens. So, guys, uh, let me know what you think. L leave it in the comments what you think. But the, uh, what I'm trying to say, it's not a conspiracy theory. I'm not saying that I know, uh, because I don't. And how could you even... How do you, how do you prove stuff like this? Uh, it's just uh, a feeling that I was feeling through my experiences in the game from playing a bunch of artillery games and then I started to make observations and documenting them and started looking at those replays and I got a little bit of data and doing some analysis and I'm starting to formulate a theory and this is how you know this is how major scientific breakthroughs have uh, <laughs> have evolved I'm at the stage now where I'm at the, the theory stage what kind of experiment or investigation can we do in order to prove if this theory is correct or whether it's just a coincidence what do you guys think uh, do you see the same pattern I, and my question is I'll leave a voting button in the top right corner of the screen is there uh, more dispersion on your shots fired at Russian vehicles compared to uh, other nationalities as there is in world of warships when you have that consumable that causes dispersion of enemy shots fired on you if you buy the consumable is it just in world of tanks you don't need the consumable you just need to be russian that's my question i'll leave the in the voting button in the top right corner of the screen i'll end it off here with a shot that actually hit uh, a russian tank and uh, the guy um that i hit was so surprised uh, so flabbergasted that he was hit that he uh, reacted with shock because he probably doesn't get hit very often uh, in his russian artillery where's this shot gonna land where's it gonna land where's it gonna land gotcha and it's so satisfying when those are one out of a hundred times that you actually hit one of those russian tanks this is his reaction that he texted to message me after the game i'll let you guys decide thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.